Hi, I'm Joe from Smarter Home Canada. I ordered these over a year ago. Today, they finally arrived. What these are are the Chipola One Point Trackers that work with Google Find Your Device. So you can use this to track your keys, your wallet, your phone, anything you want to attach it to. This is supposed to be able to find it on the Google network. Stick around while we unbox these, set them up, give them a test, and possibly even lose a child. Before I get to the unboxing, I just want to address the one year delay between ordering and shipping. This was not Chipolo's fault. The delay was caused because of security concerns from Google and Apple about trackable products. They must have it all worked out now because finally the product has arrived and is working on the Android network. That being said, they did include an apology note with the shipping package. They don't blame anybody, they just come out and say, we're sorry. Really classy of them to do that and not try to put the blame on somebody else. Points to them. I'm just gonna put my Caesar down on this coaster size packaging. We're gonna open both types of the point trackers, both the one point that finds your lost keys, backpacks, and luggage, and the card point, which is the wallet finder. We just slide the product out of the box. Not much packaging to it, which is fantastic. And as you can see, the user manual is nicely tucked in behind. Taking the one point out of the foam packaging, I do think this is a little bit bigger than the Apple Air tag. Moving on to the card point, the card point has the same functions as the one point. It's just in the shape of a credit card. The card point is definitely thicker than a regular credit card, but it is thinner than the one point. Card point batteries can't be changed, but they do give you a 50% off coupon for when yours dies. Now back to my Caesar. Can't see a Caesar, not want a Caesar. That's actually how they market Caesars. When it comes to setting up these devices, they are insanely easy. You don't even have to install the Chipolo app. You just put the disc next to your phone and click the button. That's it. The phone will recognize it. it. This is probably the easiest setup of an item I have ever done. The card setup works exactly the same way, except instead of pressing the center of the disc, you press the bottom left-hand corner. There's a small dot there to let you know where to press, and it connects automatically as well. Give it a few permissions, and you're good to go. One quick thing, if you don't have the Find My Device by Google installed on your phone, you may have to do that. That's about it. I'm going to break the testing phase of these into two parts. First part is going to be localized testing. That's going to be things like finding your keys, finding your wallet, finding whatever else you attach to it that's in somewhere in your house. You just can't remember where you put it. That happens to me more and more. For this test, I've attached one to my keys and one I've put in my wallet. For local tracking, there's two ways to do it. The first is you just press a button on your phone and then the device starts beeping. You just follow the sound. The sound is about the volume of a ringing phone, so you should be able to hear it wherever it is in the house. The second method is visual clues on your phone. Say your partner is sleeping and you need to find your keys and you don't want to disturb them. You just simply choose this method and it turns it into kind of like a hot and cold game where as you get closer to the device, the circle gets bigger. If you get further away, the circle gets smaller. And when you're right on top of it, it should say that you're right beside it. It's very simple, clean to use. I've tested it a few times. I haven't had any problems finding my keys or my wallet this way. And since I have had these, I have had to use this in a real life situation. So it's already helped me out, which is fantastic. If you've bought these or are planning to buy these, you probably bought it because of the Google network find your device system. So finally, Android users like myself can use something similar to AirTags. For our real world test, I enlisted the help of this guy right here. That's my son, that's Colton. 
cute little guy. This is what we thought up of as a fair test of these trackers. He was going to write down five different locations in our town. He was going to go to each one individually. He was going to wait five minutes at each location, take a selfie to prove he was there, and then when he came back, I was going to tell him where he went. With that plan in place, we sent him on his way. My wife and I sat in the garage, had a couple beers, caught up on Witcher, and decided to play a couple rounds of Penny Can. Penny Can! I had the Find My Device app open on my phone constantly in front of me, and I was continually refreshing to try to get his location. And now for some more bad news. Ready? And this, unfortunately, is the final result. Out of the five locations, how many do you think it tracked? Three? Zero. Why? Not a single one. Why? I don't know. We'll figure that out. That's right. Not a single location was tracked. After doing a bit of research, this is my explanation. The Find Your Device Network is an opt-in service for Google. Unlike Apple, where every single Apple device is constantly looking for other Apple devices, the Android network does not do that at this point. So being in a smaller town, maybe not as many ping points are out there as there should be or could be. And with this being an early adapter type thing, I may have to wait a while to, for these to actually start working on the network. While editing this video, I realized I should probably show you how you can add your Android phone to become part of the Find My Device network. First, in the app, click on your Google account and then select Find My Device Settings. From there, you're going to make sure the Use My Find Device is on and then click on Find Your Offline Devices. Scroll down and select With Network in All Areas. And now you've just helped expand the Google Find My Device network. I'm doing my part! I have heard that in larger towns like Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, you do get a better response for finding lost items, but here, we're just not getting it. Am I a little disappointed in these? Yeah, kinda I am. As a key finder, they work great, but that's not the reason I purchased these. I can buy a key finder. I bought these to be able to track things like my luggage when I go on vacation. I want to be able to put one on my bike so if it ever gets stolen, I'll be able to track it back down and get it back. Even though I had to wait over a year for these to show up on my door, I would have happily waited another 2-3 months for a product that actually worked right away as soon as it arrived. And I really hope in the future that does happen. If I were you and you were thinking of buying one of these, I'd probably wait a couple of months and see. Once the network is up and running properly, if it ever does, I do plan to do another video and run the same test and see what the results in a real life situation are actually going to be. I guess we're done with that. Wow. If you've watched this far and liked the video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, click on the beaver when he shows up at the end. I do really want to see you back here next time. And by liking and subscribing, that's the easiest way to find me. And if you didn't like the video, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home, trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching.